Hi guys, it's Andrea, AG Jitter. So today I thought it would be a fun idea to react to some of your unpopular American Girl opinions on the AG community, AGIG, AGTube. So I asked on Instagram what some of your unpopular opinions were and today I'm gonna react to them. Please don't hate on any of these opinions. They are opinions, obviously, that's why they are called opinions. And I respect that everyone has a different viewpoint, so please keep it respectful in the comments. This is not a hate video. <laughs> so right off the bat, something I saw sent in a lot is Teddy Grant is really gorgeous. And so I think this is unpopular because it is pretty popular to hate on Teddy. She was obviously the more developed character over Gabriella, and obviously she was probably meant to be the girl of the year that year rather than Gabriella and then they made a very quick turnaround and changed that. So I do agree that Tenny gets a lot of hate because of when this character came out and I think her timing is not the best but I think if Tenny came out like any other time or maybe not any other time but if Tenny came out at the right time a lot of people would really like her I think. I don't personally love the doll herself just because I do think the eyes are a bit red and it kind of freaks me out and her eyebrows are kind of like pointed downwards but she is very unique like I'll give that to her. Tenny is very unique and she also has in her collection the first boy doll which obviously I have I have Logan and I really liked Logan but at the same time I do understand where all the Tenny hate comes from but please like just be respectful to people who like Tenny. <laughs> the next opinion we have is I'm gonna get attacked for saying this haha but I think Kanani's pretty but I don't see the hype. Um yeah I really like Kanani in fact that is like one of the few dolls that I would actually still really want to get. So uh, I really am hyped for Ten- uh, Tenny, I'm still stuck on Tenny. I am really hyped for Kanani, but I- I don't know, I guess I would need to hear your reasonings on why you don't like Kanani. Next one is, I don't like the Marie Grace mold. So the Marie Grace mold is very controversial. I know there are people that really like it, a lot of people that don't really like it. I see it used a lot for custom dolls, like Boy Meets Dolls has like four of them, <laughs> something like that. Um, I do think the Marie Grace mold is overused in customs probably. Like not every character is a Marie Grace mold and I do think it's a little bit overused, but I think because she's such a unique mold that's why people like to use it and i see another opinion here that says not everyone looks like marie grace which is just what i said <laughs> Someone said, I don't see the issue with perma panties. So I would say this opinion is actually pretty unpopular. I know a lot of people don't like perma panties. A lot of the reason is because of the way the stuffing like goes in and it makes the body shaped all weird, I think. I actually don't have a doll with perma panties, so I cannot say for my own experience. But uh, I do think it is a little bit annoying when you're trying to like change the doll and the underwear just keeps coming off. Like that is annoying. So I guess perma panties solves that issue. Let me know in the comments what your stance on with perma panties is. Most of the best friends were better than the actual main character. This is also, I think, a pretty popular opinion. I know a lot of people think that Ivy should have been the main character instead of Julie, just because a lot of people think that she had a more interesting story. And the movie of Julie and Ivy focuses more on Ivy and not Julie. So even that kind of shows that Ivy could have easily been the main character rather than Julie. But I do quite enjoy Julie's story. Someone said, I think just like you, number four is the real star of AG. Yeah, she really has taken over, which is so funny because I only got number four because she really was my lookalike and I did not know at the time that apparently she was going to be really sought after. That is my first doll and that is also my favorite doll because it's the doll I've had the longest, so <laughs> just like your number four world domination. <laughs> Someone said, I can't stand Courtney or her collection. Oh wow, this is pretty unpopular, I think. I know a lot of my friends that love Courtney, so <laughs> uh, Courtney's cool. Uh, I think because she's so new, I don't really think of her as as like a real historical character yet, but I think in the future maybe I'll, you know, recognize her more as a character. It's kind of funny because a lot of collectors and parents are obviously were around during that era. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't, but calling her a historical doll is kind of funny because it's making it seem like our parents or older collectors who have been with American Girl for a while are now called historical like part of history and it's just kind of weird to think about. I think her collection is a little bit cheesy. I wish her collection was more toned down, but it's American Girl, so what do we expect? <laughs> Someone said, we need more dolls with glasses. I agree. I think there should be more characters with glasses. As someone that wears glasses, I would love to see more dolls that come with glasses. I personally like putting glasses on my dolls. So like Wendell, Clark, 
and Andrea, because obviously that's my mini-me, all wear glasses. I think there's only... I know there's Molly and there's Z. Who else wears glasses? If you can think of other people that wear glasses, leave that below because I do not remember off the top of my head. Someone says, I don't really like customs. I understand that it takes a huge amount of time, but I don't follow accounts that have customs and I personally think it kind of ruins the doll. When I first got on AGIG, I have to admit that customs kind of scared me at first. Um, not that they were creepy or anything, but I was just like, why would you do that to your American Girl doll? Because I'm so used to thinking like, you shouldn't touch your American Girl doll. It's it should be kept that way. But now that I see the process and how much hard work goes into it, like you don't need to follow people that make customs, obviously. But I think it's definitely an art form. It's obviously also meant for older collectors and people that can appreciate that art rather than, you know, younger kids who would probably just mess that up right away. Someone said that AG needs to stop making white dolls for a while and start focusing on dolls of color. I think AG definitely knows this, especially with the book that they've just come out with, as well as the new doll line that they have coming out later on this year. I mean, we'll see more when we get to that. And I do wish that they didn't, you know, lump <laughs> all the dolls of color together as a separate line rather than just like coming out with them like normal. But We'll see. I don't like to make judgments too early because I will regret it later on. But I do agree that they need to definitely make more dolls of color. Specifically for me, I would love a Filipino doll. I keep saying this. I'm going to keep saying it until American Girl makes one. Oh my goodness. Someone said Basil Mentos is massively overrated. Okay. <laughs> Wow, I didn't know people thought that. She's not really around anymore, so I think people just think of her as like someone that was very inspiring and especially during the time when she was very popular, she was like one of the best of the best at that time. So I, I don't know, if she, I would say she's overrated. I think now obviously technology is getting better, people are getting better at making videos. Maybe people can make better videos than she did at that time, but at that time I personally think that she did an amazing job and helped inspire a lot of AGTubers today, myself included. Someone said AGTube will probably never go back to the way it was years ago, especially with Kappa. Yeah, I agree. I do not see AGTube becoming really big again. I don't think it's gonna happen. I wish it would happen because that would be great. That would be amazing. But with all the other things that kids can be interested in now, AGTube probably just isn't gonna grow again. I don't wanna say that, but I mean, maybe. Maybe there's a chance. I don't know. Maybe they'll blow up. Maybe there'll be something that goes viral or something but I don't think it will ever go to the extent that it was years ago. Someone said, I really like the colored hair dolls. I think they're unique. I mean, yeah, they're definitely very different. It's different than anything American Girl has ever done before, and they're definitely capitalizing off of the fact that a lot of people want to customize their dolls to have colored hair, and I think it's very smart of American Girl. <laughs> you know, they're gonna try and make money off of what's gonna work. Someone said that I don't like how American Girl isn't really focusing on the historical dolls anymore. And I agree. I think, I mean, obviously Courtney is the most recent one, but they definitely aren't focusing on where American Girl started out as and I think it's kind of changed and we just kind of have to accept that. It's really sad but it's obviously never gonna go back to the way it was and yeah there's no use in complaining about it. Although this whole video is me complaining about things and reading your complaints so. <laughs> Alright and that was some of your American Girl opinions. I'm sorry if I missed some of them. Let me know what you agree with, what you disagree with, but keep it respectful obviously. Everyone has a different opinion Opinion. But yeah, let me know if I should do this again and uh, thanks for watching guys. Bye